Team POM MIA's final presentation. In this, we discuss and demonstrate the coursework and concepts we learned throughout the semester and how we created our TV show, Jimmy's Pub. Our show was made possible by our team, featuring Corey Matt, Tyler Evans, Rodney White, Richard Bladikus, and Cody Banks. We faced challenges along the way, but managed to persevere. A diverse set of background experience contributed to our team's success. The target audience for Jimmy's Pub ranged from 16 to 40 years old and appealed to anyone who was interested in learning more management concepts and a little bit of comedy was thrown in as well. The setting takes place entirely at Jimmy's Pub and the characters are everyday individuals that give examples of what can go wrong in management. Rebecca is the general manager, although Harriet does most of the managing. She is charismatic, kind, easygoing, and an alcoholic, does not enforce company policy, and makes poor choices when hiring new employees. She encourages this through her actions. Harriet is the assistant manager who struggles to stand up for herself. She oversees the operations of the restaurant but lacks strong authority and is often very introverted. David is a cook who is always tardy and is Rebecca's brother. He doesn't care about how others perceive him but takes a lot of pride in his efficiency while at work. Stan is a new hire with no experience in the kitchen but plenty of experience with server and girlfriend, Julie. John is another cook. He is mostly concerned with his extracurricular activities, but still comes to work and does his job, so long as it doesn't interfere with his surfing, of course. And lastly, Julie. She is a good hard worker, if she actually makes it to work. She is stubborn, confident, and relishes in challenging authority. Here is a list of some of the main concepts we use throughout our series of episodes. Concepts like weighing skills was prevalent in episode one, when the team was trying to decide what skills the next employee should possess. In episode two, some of the employees were having issues with each other's primary duty to communicate issues. During episode three, Rebecca is faced with the challenge of having to terminate Stan, the new hire employee, but instead spends the day drinking and having her brother Stan do the firing instead. Episode 4 contained a critical incident which occurred when Rebecca decided to leave the bar early, leaving Harriet empty handed with customers still at the establishment. During episode 5, Rebecca apologizes to Harriet and explains that she feels there is no incentive for her to work this dead-end job, so the two of them come up with an incentive plan for them and for the rest of the employees that include things like paid time off and bonuses for good performance. In episode one, Rebecca, Harriet, David, and John argue among themselves while weighing employee skills before finally agreeing on a skill set that matters. After a while, in a brainstorming and group think setting, they come to a conclusion. Information for episode two, communication is the key. This episode dealt with something that managers occasionally experience in the workplace, ethical lapses within the hiring process. Our episode had Harriet, God, God. and just telling people what to do. It is the art of being able to use available resources, but also not solely to rely on them. It is the art of being able to make important decisions for your entire company, while also empowering those around you to make important decisions as well. It is the art of being able to lead a group of employees toward achieving one common goal while keeping them motivated and determined 
throughout the entire process. A good manager doesn't just know one part of the company. A good manager knows how all parts of a company work together in harmony like a well-oiled machine. The class is demanding. However, the class is designed to provide knowledge and information to help future managers succeed in a diverse and ever-changing workplace. challenges this semester. Some of those included communication, time management, and even distribution of the workload. Due to our varying skill sets and personal lives, we were posed with issues in each of the ways mentioned above. We were able to overcome them by recognizing our flaws and working through them. In fact, clear, increased communication typically solved our issues. All of this resulted in a very clear understanding of the concepts mentioned throughout the semester. Now for some of the reflections from each member of Team POM MIA or Managers in Action. Our group has faced numerous challenges, 